Hello, this is Nathan Dunn, Elite Application Engineer for Go Engineer. Today we're going to be looking at the SolidWorks 2015 enhancements to patterns. SolidWorks 2015 has several enhancements for patterns to make creation, documentation, and flexibility much easier. Let's take a look at this linear bearing rail. These can be purchased in any length that you want, but you can see that when I change the length of the rail, that the pattern fails. This is because some of the pattern instances fail to actually cut the part. There's a new option inside of Linear Patterns that allows me to set a reference along with an offset value, in this case the same as, there, as on the other end, and then specify the distance between the spacing and now you can see that this linear pattern will continually update as the length of our part changes. There's also another enhancement to the linear pattern that allows me to have just a set number of instances that will be equally spaced throughout the distance of the current extrusion. So in this case we'll say that we want to have 18 instances equally spaced and as I make changes to the length of my extrusion, you can see that the reference geometry, as well as the number of instances, is maintained throughout. This new capability of linear pattern is going to be a real time saver. Next, there are times when we have the need to be able to pattern a body. In the case of this saw blade, we'd like to have this carbide tip actually be a separate body However, you can see that when I change this, to not merge the results, the pattern fails. If you've ever encountered this instance before, you know that you have to delete the pattern and then reselect in order to be able to select a body. 2015 allows us to change from features being patterned to bodies being patterned without having to destroy the pattern itself to get there. I know that's going to save me a lot of time. Another enhancement is the instance count for fill patterns. Now SolidWorks will show you the number of instances being generated by a fill pattern along with an option to validate the count indicating that you have a correct quantity associated. This will show up as a read-only dimension inside of your model. If we make any changes to get rid of one of our instances the pattern instance. You can see that the number of instances will update. The real time savings here is the ability to utilize this as a reference inside of a note at the drawing level. Simply modify this annotation to include a reference and then just hide the instance count allowing us to see a quick quantity count for fill patterns for manufacturing purposes. This is going to make our documentation much more clear and concise. Thank you for watching the SolidWorks 2015 video on the enhancements to patterns.